she uh, went back on this particular encounter with the big praying mantis to when she was 17 years old in 1963 in Covina, California. And she drew and described how she is taken from her room. Often she seemed to have some sort of light that came into the room. And in this case, she ends up in a round a sort of, well, let's just assume that it is some kind of a craft. It's not known because she did not have an outside uh, perspective, but she's in a round room. And in the middle is a large container that seems to be filled with light. And the praying mantis tells her that he is going to put her through a translation of light. And she sees this remarkable transfer of coming out of a version of her that is described as her soul body, going into a cloned container being kept alive by light above and below in a glass tube along with a whole lot of other bodies. And she identifies herself and it's communicated to her that she'd had rheumatic fever when she was a child, which she did, that her heart was damaged. She did not know that. And they explained to her and showed her what they were going to do, that they were going to have the body that was damaged, gone, die, but that her consciousness and her soul would continue in this clone body and that she would know no difference.